Hey guys, welcome to adding and subtracting our third. So this is the third lesson in this series with uh, with with our third. So we've looked at in, um, the introduction of what thirds are and, and how to simplify. We've looked at how to multiply and divide. So now we're going to look at how to add and subtract. Um, I will say it's when you like the last one we'll do multiplying and dividing. It was kind of like doing that with them algebra it's similar with adding and subtracting um, like terms I guess so we have things like 4 root 2 plus um, let's say 3 root 2 it's kind of like doing 4 a's plus 3 a's which would equal 7 a's okay because we've got 7 lots of a so the same thing sort of applies here if I've got 4 lots of root 2 and I've them adding 3 more lots of root 2's then I've actually got 7 lots of root 2 Okay, so it's very similar to what we did with our algebra. Okay, likewise with subtraction, we've got three root threes, and I'm taking away one root three. Well, then I've got three of them. I'm taking away well one of them, so I've got two lots of root three left. Okay, so it's it's pretty straightforward. It does, of course, get a little bit more challenging when you get questions like the following. Okay, so this is a hard one: root eight plus three root two. Okay, now this is slightly more challenging because obviously root 8 and root 2 are different. So, well, we can't add them. Well, that's that's true. However, we might recognize root 8 as being one of those uh, thirds that, like back in that first lesson, we can simplify. We know that root 8 is the same as doing root 8 times root, oops, sorry, not root 8, root 4, sorry, times root 2. Okay, which is the same as saying 2 root 2. So we've actually got 2 root 2 plus 3 root 2, which is equal to 5, lots of root 2. Okay, so you can start seeing that these more challenging questions are simply trying to find, you know, a common um, number underneath that radical sign. Let's, let's have a look at another one, and this one might give you an opportunity. Um, we'll do root 20 plus, let's say, um, root 45, perhaps. Okay, so maybe pause it, give yourself an opportunity to have a go at this question yourself, and then play it and see what the answer is. Okay, so hopefully this one you recognize, obviously, 20 and 40 are different, so we can't add them. So what we're going to look at is root 20 is the same as saying 4 times 5. Root 45 well, you could do 15 and 3, but that's not really going to help you. But 9 times 5 is going to help you. So we're going to have 2 root 5 plus 3 root 5, which is equal to 5 root 5. Now, a little hint that I'll give you, once you found out what the first one is, I mean, this question here, you saw root 2 was lowest. So you know that it's going to have to be 2 times something. So 2 times 4 is 8. Likewise, if I get this one down to 2 root 5 to start with, I know that 5 will have to be under my radical sign. So 5 times 9 makes 45. So often you can do that to help you, I guess, sort of choose what uh, what numbers you're going to be looking at. Um, let's have a look at a, a, a subtraction question, a little bit more challenging. Root 20 minus root 80. Okay, so again, pause it, have a crack at it and then play it. Okay, so root 20, well, we just did that one. So we know that's root 4 times 5. Okay, so root 4 times 5, which is going to be 2 root 5. Now, likewise, I can see, because I've got that root 5, it's going to need to be, if, it, if I can add them or subtract them, this is going to have to be under root 5 also. So let's have a look. 5 times what makes 80? Well, 5 goes into 80 once with 3 left over. 5 goes into 36 times. And look, you've now got that nice perfect square. So the square root of 16 makes 4. So I've got 2 root 5 minus 4 root 5, which is going to equal negative 2 root 5. So you can sort of see once you've got that first sign, you can pretty much use that to help you work out what's going to go under the, under the radical sign for the second part of the question. Okay, the last question I'm going to do. This is going to be a doozy. 3 root 50, or 3 radical 50, plus radical 32, minus radical 800. Okay, so this is going to be a bit of a tough question, so maybe pause it, again have a crack at it, and then see if you can get the right answer. Okay, so let's have a look. 3 root 50, well hopefully 
50, you've seen that 25 times 2 is going to work out for that one, which is going to be 5 root 2. So 5 times 3 makes 15 root 2. Again, if you want to do 3 times 5 root 2 and do it that way, that's fine. I'm just missing out that step. Okay, so we've got the plus. Root 32, well, we want to have 2 under there. So 2 times 16 will work. Now, if you're not sure, which is going to be, oh, oh, hold on, is 4 root 2. If you're not sure what's going to be, I mean, you could have said 8 times 4 is 32. Then that's going to be um, root 4 is 2, so 2 root 8. And then you can say 8 times 4 or 4 times 2. And then you can say 2 times 2 is 4, 4 root 2. So, you, I mean, you can go and break down each single step if you can't sort of figure it out but you can see how easy it was when I realized that this one was root 2 then it was just 2 times 16 is 32 um, likewise for this one you could see that uh, if I need to have it's a minus sign I need to have 2 in it so you can do 2 times 400 and then you might realize that 400 is 20 times 20 okay so it's minus 20 root 2 Again, likewise, if you didn't realize that was a square root number that was the 400, you could do 100 times 8. Okay, so square root of 100 is 10, so you've got 10 root 8. And then 8, obviously, is um, 2 root 2, so 2 times 10 is 20 root 2. So lots of different ways you can get down to that radical sign. But as I said, if you look at your easiest one, which in this case was probably the first one, then you know that root 2 most likely will go down. It doesn't work every time, guys, but for the most part, it will work. Okay, let's simplify. 15 root 2 plus 4 root 2 is 19 root 2. Take away the 20 root 2. We're left with a negative 1 root 2 or just negative root 2. Probably that's the most challenging question you'll get. Okay, but definitely with the easy ones, have a crack at them. Um, for the most part, just make sure that the radical signs are the same. Then you can add them or subtract them. They're not the same. Let's see if you can make them the same by breaking or simplifying that, that surd down to its smallest form. Okay? Hope you found this useful.